Alrighty, hi everybody, it's me, Kitze, welcome to another episode of This Week in Web Development, this is episode number 10, so welcome, thank you for waiting, I wanted to give you time as always to settle down, grab your popcorn, whatever the hell you're doing before this thing starts, um, so we're, we're up to episode 10, this is actually gonna be the first proper episode that we're gonna do, um, because this week, oh, first let me apologize for the time, I know that I tweeted out that it's gonna be, hey Glenn, hi Cohen, hi Fritas, hi Joss, hi everybody, um, I know that I tweeted it's gonna be at 4 and I was actually ready to go like for the first time ever I was ready to go 4 p.m. sharp and my newly built Windows streaming PC greeted me with this like I, I took a picture I don't know if you can see it this sad like this new blue screen of death the sad screen of that whatever the fuck Windows calls it now now has a sad face that tells you well it's Windows what are you gonna do use Mac OS next time if you want something to work so it gave me like this blue screen of that for five freaking times. Something with OBS, like OBS would take all the CPU, it would crash and Windows would restart. So frustrating, frustrating anyway. Like, as I said, there cannot be a perfect stream. Hopefully I'm going to get my setup uh, set up one day. Anyway, I was saying that this is going to be the first proper episode because this is the first week ever. Except with a small chat that I had with Nader two days ago and he told me about the new framework that Ryan and, and Michael Jackson made. Except that... I had, I have no freaking idea what is going on in the web dev world. And that was the idea of the show, right? I have no idea what happened during the week. You let me know. So I have this, 
um oh fuck now i'm so used to to the windows like i cannot wait okay there there's the link in the chat i'm gonna prioritize that links that uh i'm gonna prioritize the uh, the links the replies that are coming from um twitter than the ones in the chat so i would really appreciate it if you some people actually did it andrew um arek and cohen i think already posted a bunch of stuff stuff we're gonna talk about so i would appreciate it if you actually post if you have a Twitter account, reply on Twitter. If you want to paste it in the chat, I'm going to go with the first links that go on Twitter and then I'm going to go with the links in the chat. And as I was saying, this is the first week where I actually have no idea what happened in web dev and you're going to let me know what happened in web dev, which was the idea of the show. You let me know. I don't let... Like, I let the other people know what happened, but you send me tweets, libraries, demos, articles, whatever happened this week, uh, whatever hashtags we ha have here. Happy birthday, Camilla, Harry Potter. Like, Harry Potter is still trending, whatever the fuck. I don't know. You just send me links. I read them out and I get updated on what happened this week in web dev. And then I also update other people. That was the entire idea. The previous nine episode was um, I was spending the entire week on Twitter and then I would inform you of what happened in Twitter, which was not the point. Anyway, thank you for everyone who just uh, posted all of these links that we're going to read. Um, and literally Razor missing my point instead of replying on Twitter, he's putting it in the chat. As I said, things that are going to be on Twitter are gonna be prioritized over the things in the chat, so we're gonna start right away. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat in. Um, yeah, there's one phrase that popped in my head that that pissed me off when I wanted to show you this, uh, this, this thing, the Windows restart thingy, and I wanted to say that it happened. I don't know, it, it literally happened five times, and I wanted to say you cannot make this stuff up, and I just reminded myself how much I hate that phrase. You cannot make that, dude. I cannot make that shit up. Really? Somebody wrote. I don't know, Game of Thrones, somebody wrote Lord of the Rings and you're saying, I cannot make that shit up for something that happened. Just stop using that fucking phrase. It's annoying. I cannot make that. Like people invented, I don't know, the Bible. No, no, I'm, I'm joking. Okay, I'm not going to go there. Um, showed the meme I created last week. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. You made a great meme last week. Like th 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 this is the point of this show, okay? Kids are waiting links from watchers. Kids are, kids, are, kids, are, kids are viewing links from watchers. Watch kids are finding the links. And then you're waiting for me to post the notes. So this was this was pretty funny. Um, All right. <laughs> this was close. Hi, Andre. All right, let's start. Let's start. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. Cohen is knocking it right out of the fucking park with Prisma. <laughs> <laughs> holy shit i actually have a stream set up with um oh, oh, jesus christ i forgot his name i know he's shickling on slack like oh my god I'm, my, my mind is drawing a blank here i forgot that the, anyway i have a stream set up with this dude from prisma and we're gonna have a stream soon where we're gonna squash my beef with prisma and we're gonna discuss the fu future of it and so on um <laughs> and that was a good tweet coin okay let's start let's start here no jazz version for, i know i know all of you want to discuss remix okay we're gonna get there let's start with no jazz 14. um okay like i i'm not that excited about node version releases to be honest because it's like oh let me myself out okay i'm not that important for this show I'm not that excited for node releases, to be honest. So I'm just gonna scroll through this, like, diagnostic report goes stable. Like, I cannot read this and be like, holy shit, finally, oh my god, I was just waiting for this to happen. Holy shit, this is so good, this is gonna change my life. Like, no, V8 upgraded to V8.8.1. <gasps> oh my god, we have to refactor everything. Like, I, I don't know, yeah, it's important, there's a new version released, whatever. Um, look at the white space on medium, yeah. I'm gonna put this in the notes because it's important. And as always, I'm going to mention that if you want to find the notes, you should subscribe to this repo. Soon there's going to be a web page. When I say soon, I mean until 2034, there's going to be a web page for this show. Until then, I'm going to put markdown fi files like some sort of savage. And it's on github.com slash kids slash twivdev. I'm going to paste the link here because you're never going to type that if you want to see the show notes at the end. Ex Experimental async local storage API. Okay, cool. Streams, whatever. WebAssembly system interface. Yeah. Removal experimental modules warning. Yeah. Uh, new compiler and platform minimums. Yeah. Call to action. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Not important. Let's move on. Um, someone go there and create a page for this show. No, I want to do it myself. My developer ego won't let anyone else create it for me. Okay. I want to do it 
from scratch. Reinvent the way we do the header. Reinvent the way we style every freaking button. Reinvent the way we do landing pages just to make... Uh, hey, maybe I'll do it with Remix, huh? How about that segue? Maybe I'll use this brand new framework that personally, I don't think that it should... Like, like, I don't know. Personally, I don't think it's needed. Like, Next.js can do all of it. Like, if you ask me, like, delete everything right now and all of us, let's just use Next.js. I would be like the first one to hop on that train. No, let's reinvent the wheel. Every freaking week, a bunch of people will just migrate to something else and it's freaking annoying. Maybe I'll make the page with Remix. But first of all, let's see what is Remix. I have no idea. If someone actually was on Twitter and can send me some tweets because I wasn't on Twitter. I'm going to repeat that again. I have no idea. Someone was like, they don't have much on the landing page, but they explained it via tweets. This is like, yeah. That's one thing that I wanted to talk about. When you're not on Twitter, there's no way to get that information. Like, we're not going to see this on Reddit. We're not going to see the tweet thread from Ryan or whoever on Reddit. Like, it's only on Twitter. So when you're not on Twitter, it feels like you're missing out chunks on, of, of information. It's super fucking annoying. Um, you make a framework, then you teach teaching how to use it. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Totally on board, just treating next. Next.js should be the new default. Because... Like, when you start with Next.js, then you can do like, oh, I want this page to be server-side generated, whatever, boom, you got it. Oh, I want this statically generated, boom, got it. Like, you can have the craziest app built with Next.js, and I think it should be the new default. Isn't Gatsby better? I don't know. I ran a poll on my Twitter a couple of weeks ago, and 70% of the people voted for Next for picking it as a new default in the future. 30% voted for Gatsby. Should you trust my poll? I don't know, but I, I would try to trust Next more at this point. I don't know. I like the API more. Uh, so Remix, I don't know what to think about this. I don't know if it needed to exist. I'm going to mention it for the third time on a stream. Anytime content creators come up with something, you have to be careful about it. Like, are they making these things because it was actually needed? Are they making these things because eventually they want to sell something around it? I have no idea. I'm a content creator. Don't trust me on whatever I'm doing. Like, I, I literally have a show where I'm going to plug in Sizi and you're going to stare at it. Because I choose to, okay? Right now, I can let you stare at this thing that I made. And just pretend that this show is about something. Like, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. So you you always have to be careful. I don't know. I'm going to take a look when eventually they have docs. Like, I was super excited about Redwood. Redwood JS, wherever that thing is. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on in Redwood right now. Because it's probably not stable. It's using Prisma under the hood. So you take Prisma, that's not stable. Put something on top of it. That's like, that's like Jenga, but you're only building the, the left side. And then on, on top of it, you, like you put seven blocks. That thing, no bueno, not stable. So when, so this thing has a tutorial, docs, philosophy, all of that shit. I haven't tried it. I'm not going to try this until it's like mature because they might decide to kill it. I don't know. Uh, so creators of Remix can promote their React router and other libraries. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, isn't Next.js a way to promote Zite and Versal? Oh, it, it started as, as that thing. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, we've gone from every week a new JavaScript framework to every week a new React framework. Yeah, 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 Ardy. That's what's happening. Uh, fuck me. React Express, Mongo, Immutable, X8. I am Andrew Luca. Please tell me that you're joking that that's the name of this thing. That's not, that's not where the name is coming from. Andrew, you're joking, right? It, does X stay for X8? You're, no, you're, you're fucking with me. Come on, there's nothing to do with Mongo here. I'm a moron. File system routes, route layout nesting, automatic code splitting, data driven, made up buzzwords, buzz cutting edge, buzz split, bro. Location based suspense care, streaming server rendering, zero config build, react refresh, server rendering in dev, deploy anywhere, and more. Okay. Um, who can keep up with all the new frameworks? Anyway, as I said, like we're gonna take a look at this when it's gonna be stable, when it's gonna have docs, we're gonna see if it's worth to, to visit it and so on. Um, Moving on. Oh, there's the tweet thread. We wanted to build this project for six years. Now we're putting our heart and soul into it more than anything else we've ever worked on. We made a lot of progress and are shooting for an open beta in June. Sign up, sign up to follow our progress. Okay, what is the response from the community? I mean, of course the, rea the, the response from the community is going crazy because web developers cannot wait to migrate to the next thing, right? They're like, oh my God, finally, I don't have to build a real product. I can just reinvent my old product in this new technology, right? So I'm going to tell you an example. It's like, don't say that I'm plugging it in. This landing page was built with Create React App around eight or nine, nine months ago, maybe even 10 months ago. This page can benefit for, from server-side rendering, SEO and all of that shit. And because it wasn't priority, we didn't do it for that long. Now, Pranit, 
who is my my colleague here who is probably still in the chat probably you didn't leave after 10 minutes um he's he's rewriting the landing page in next.js after 10 months of existence because my mindset is like prioritize the important things first like let's ship 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 and then when you have a little bit of like wiggle space then like let's fit in the refactor here but a lot of people see this news about remix they're like fucking finally i can fill up my time with bullshit and refactor from a to b just for whatever reason um i have a question somebody says and andrew luca says what made you create cz um the i got tired of resizing my browser basically and the original story is like one of my first articles on medium um, yeah, introducing CZ. It's an article from 2017. If you want to read it, um, you can see my motivations and shit. I'm, I'm just going to put it here. I'm also going to put it in the notes if somebody cares about this shit. Like, I was just basically tired of resizing my browser and it started as a web app. Anyway, this is this is not about CZ. It's about Remix. So let's just, let's just move on. Somebody said, uh, if this Remix will be paid. No, it's not going to be paid. Um, Razor said, read this before deciding to spend time on learning any framework. Reach high key on becoming a better developer. I'm going to put that in the notes. Probably not going to read it. I'm an asshole. Uh, but thank you for that link. Um, what else do we have in the chat? Need... Wait, what will be paid? Remix will be paid? Wait, let's actually read what it says here. Final... How is going to be... How is React Framework going to be paid? What are you talking about? That That doesn't make sense. Other than a web page that asks for my personal info. Could not handle the request. Seriously, what is wrong with the React community? The problem is they're not clicking upgrade plan on our new hosting account. No cash, no cash. Uh, in before Remix V. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Could not handle this request. Please use TypeScript out of box. Built with Tailwind is the best. Hey, th there is an advice you should follow. If a thought leader ever uses caps lock, you should absolutely follow that tweet. So when Ryan says it's the best, you go and refactor all of your web pages with Tailwind. Okay, that's that's the rule of thought leading on Twitter. That, that's just the rule. When you see a caps lock tweet, when I say Chakra is the best, you go rewrite your apps with Chakra. Not so good of a start. Okay, they have a rough start because they had this could not handle the request. That's fucking funny. Um, there's no information here. So the information is in Ryan's private account. So let's see. Uh, we may be putting our heart... No, we may be putting our heart and soul into it, but we forgot to put our credit card. Okay. I don't normally do this, but... Profiling, not looking good. How is this different to Next Gatsby, Blitz, and Redwood? Like, oh my god, yeah, I just thought... Somebody's creating Blitz, somebody's creating Redwood. We have Next.js, and now they're building Remix instead of, like... This is gonna divide the React community. Like, we have Gatsby, Redwood, Blitz, this thing, like, at least six more things that people can see in the chat. Uh, John Brennan is asking, what do you prefer? I prefer Chakra over Tailwind for now because I'm a React developer and with Tailwind, I will have a bunch of classes. With Chakra, I will have a bunch of props and dynamic styles and shit. So for now, I prefer Chakra. Anyway, the React community is going to be too divided with this shit and that's fucking annoying. I, I just thought with, with Redwood like any with Redwood and Next.js, like everyone's going to go towards one direction. Nope. This is fucking annoying. Anyway, I don't like... Where's that thread where Ryan is explaining... Somebody said Ryan has a thread with reasons and shit. Can someone post this thread somewhere? Like, I don't know where to look for this information about why does this exist and shit. It's not a... It, it would definitely be a competitor, but I've been friends with Raj long before React even existed. We're not trying to go after Next.js or anything. We're finally building the thing we wanted to build for a very, very long time. There's plenty of room. Agreed. In fact, if you zoom out, the trend is about modernizing your front and the rise of components. C, Versal... We're all in this together. Oh, fuck me. We're so now not in this together. Dude, the people who made React Router split up and somebody was making Reach Router and then the other person was making React Router and then joined them into one. So don't tell me that we're all in this together. Like everyone is like, fuck me. The first alpha release is here. Okay, that's that's nice. Let, let's just wrap up. Like, I don't know what to conclude. Can we leave Remix when, once we can actually see some API and, and docs and shit? I think we can move on. Um, yeah, exactly. That's what they're doing. Just making a statement, posting their own opinions, and then just people trust. Like, I just feel sorry for the people that are just going to hop over the new framework just because popular people made the framework. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's move on. Let me see. I should have pinned this status somewhere just so we can go um, 
to the next link. View three beta is out. I think we saw this in the last time. I think we saw this the last time. Oh, it's 18 hours ago. We didn't saw it the last time. So beta four is out. I'm gonna put that in the, the thread. Thank you, Aussie boy. Uh, what else do we have? First alpha release of Blitz. Announcing the Blitz alpha release. Emoji, emoji, emoji. Oh, second thing. When someone on Twitter uses a lot of emoji, you can trust that library a little bit more. Okay? So caps lock, a lot of emoji. It's like, holy shit. Hyping shit up. I do that shit. Okay? Blitz is a Rails-like framework for monolithic full-stack React apps built on Next.js. That's what I like. If you build it on top of Next.js, then we can play. We're all in this together. Other than that, Build on Next.js, don't have to build an API. Thank you for the follow. CSR, SSR, static pages, TypeScript, concurrent mode. Get started here. Okay, that's exciting. Deploy serverless or server full, database or I'm agnostic. Prisma is the default DB client. GraphQL ready, CLI with code. Like, this is, uh, like, I'm excited about this. And, like, I'm just curious when he says we, who are we? First of all, yeah, let me just see the chat. Let me see the chat. Uh, the best thing about Ruby is there's Rails. It can do anything. Everyone uses it, period. Timo, I couldn't agree more with you. And I thought that Redwood is going to be our R Ruby on Rails, whatever. Uh, and then Blitz came out and I was like, nope. Even before these two things are out, they're going to be competitors right out of the gate. So we're not going to have our Rails, unfortunately. Because everyone wants to build their own Rails. Nobody wants to say, hey, this is the new Rails. Let's just use that. So we're not going to have it. Uh, Blitz is pretty much Rails built on Next.js. Uh, kinda, but there's only one Rails. We're gonna have seven different versions of Rails. Uh, based on my limited front-end knowledge, I feel like I should just use Vue instead of trying to figure out 10 million other frameworks based on React. Whatever. Our, our Rails is Express. Oh my god. I don't know. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, I wanted to say when people... When I tweet about we about uh when i when i talk about cz i say we because it's uh for now it's three people i have an interview tomorrow i have two interviews tomorrow it's gonna be five people soon but people feel the need to question it every time <laughs> bro when you say we uh do you have a problem and you're talking about yourself go fuck yourself okay like for eight months i've been babbling that we have a team and we were like oh who do you say when you say we but then i caught myself doing the same thing so when brandon was talking about blitz and it's like, we're going to have this, we're going to have that. I was like curious, who is we? And I think he's talking about, um, he's talking about the contributors uh, to his GitHub repo or something, or he has a team or he has a company. Like, uh, I don't fucking know. Uh, Flyby, we is listed at the bottom of the street thread. Oh, fucking hell. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's you actually, Brandon. Yeah, I actually saw that tweet for a second, but I went back and somebody distracted me. Okay. Uh, donated the time, pull this off. So, wait. You should all follow these folks. Are they working full time? Flyby, Flybayer, Brandon. Are they working full time or this, or there's just some contributors on GitHub that you reference as we? I know this is an annoying question, but uh, cinematic embassy, like, don't force the fucking thing, okay? It, it it's competition. Like, we have more things than they have. Whatever. Like, don't fucking sweat it. It's like you're putting me in an awkward position right now. Um, Aussie boy, usually high, no JS and TS. Just focus on learning JS. That it's easy if you react. Whatever you want. No, they're just contributors. Oh, okay. Okay, cool, cool. It's, it's... Actually, I respect that, that you're referencing them as we, and you're not like, I made this fucking thing and it's only me. So kudos for that. Um, I'm excited to actually try this and Redwood out. I'm just mad that you and Redwood are not collaborating on build... Because you're, ironically, like you're... I don't know if ironically is the right word to use, but you're both built on Prisma and on Next.js. It's like super similar project. It's just... To me, it seems like you should have worked it out together instead of building separately. Do you have, like, it, while you're here, um, Redwood isn't built on Next.js. Oh, oh, okay. Then that's that's my bad. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. I'm going to put this in the notes. We're going to move on. Um, put this in the notes. We're going to move on. I can't wait to actually try this. Uh, let's go back. What do we have? Zyte is now versatile. I actually saw this. And my first reaction, I'm going to be super honest with you. Nothing against it. I was like, ew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. Zeit. However, it was pronounced. Zeit. Zeit. Whatever. Like, Guillermo had a talk. Breaking the space-time continuum. Back, like, two years ago at Agent Conf. And you would be sitting in your, you know, first row. And he's like, oh my god. Guillermo's going to have a talk. Breaking the space-time continuum. Okay. The title was bullshit. Because the talk was about, here's what's new in Zeit. But I don't know. There was certain magic behind Zeit. And time and fast builds. I don't know. Now it's like Versal. 
sounds like some VC backed horse name. I don't know. Like it's just a personal opinion. Not saying like I I'm we're actually gonna move more stuff to Zite now. I'm moving a bunch of stuff from uh from Netlify to Zite because they decided to go with more UI things. Uh, I was against moving everything to Zite because uh, Netlify was more, more UI oriented. Zite was more CLI oriented, but now Zite is turning it around. It's like, we're going to do everything in UI. I like, sorry, Versal now. I have to call it Versal. I don't know. I don't like it. Um, have you seen Destiny? Prettier for file structures. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm happy to do a stream with you on Blitz too. Uh, oh, we can do that. Um, the Friday stream that I'm doing with guests is now booked until I think the middle of May. So I'm going to have guests until the middle of May. But I can send you the link and we can do it at the end of May. Maybe you're going to have more stable versions by then. So it's going to be good if we do a stream on Blitz. Um, Joss says, I like the whole time theme. Zide next now. Yeah, exactly. Now it's like Versal. It's like naming it Hamlin, Hamlin, McGill or whatever. If, if there's a Breaking Bad fan, you're going to appreciate that. But it sounds very VC name. Any, anyway, I read the blog post. I actually know about this because they, they emailed me. So it's in my newsletter. I'm still going to call it Zide for a while until it fade, fades away. Here's the new Versal logo. Like, I'm just going to focus on the triangle. There you go. I like the triangle. I don't know. Let's not sweat it. It's just a name change. Not that important in the world of front-end development. It's just a... Versal rhymes with Assel. Um, yeah, kind of. I don't know. Is Assel one of the... One of the... Um, where are they? Assel and CRV are lead investors. I think Assel got in touch with me a couple of times about an investment. Uh, let's move on. We have Remix. Let me refresh this. Maybe you plugged in more tweets. What else do we have here? I like it that this time actually there are more tweets. They, I love it. Whoever is posting on Twitter, love you. Thank you very much. Static Future. Um, the magic of compile time workflows. Gatsby and React. As static sides, yada, yada, yada. I like to talk about it. Defining static. It's still React. Gatsby and Next.js are both wrappers around React. Anything you can do. Like, I have to do this thing. Can you hear this? Look, 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 look. Oof. Like, J Josh's side is, it's, it's insane. Like, I don't even read the article. I click this hard thingy. Just look at it. It's smiling at me. Like, I'm totally going to copy this from my blog. I don't even care. Um. Anyway, what is the point of this blog post? If someone can give me a TLDR of this, I mean, um, mindset shift required. Yeah, I think I know what this is approximately. I think Max Stoiber tweeted about this. Like, if you have a build time that's a couple of seconds, like, you're not going to need server-side rendered anymore. Everything can be static. I think that's the that's the TLDR of the article. Uh, would you rename CZ to Versal for 21 million? Mm, oh, Glenn, you're putting me on the spot right now. I don't know. For now, I decided I'm not going to take an investment. I have at least 15, maybe even 20 mails that I haven't replied to from investors. I think, like, bootstrapping a company is the... It, it's fun. It's challenging. I like the progress that we're doing so far. The monthly recurring revenue is going up. I don't think that I'm going to take an investment anytime soon. So I I don't know. I don't even know what investors are offering. They're like, hey, kids, say yada, yada. I'm like, whatever. I'm, I am I don't care to read about the rest of this email. Whatever. Um, so we have the remix thing. Right now, bundling JS is required for loading performance, but practically kills caching. Web bundle. Oh my God. What is this now? Web bundles will enable us to have both, but how can the server know what is already in a cache? I'm glad you asked. Oh my god, I'm so happy to dive into this. Oh, for 21 minutes. Yeah, I would do it for 21 minutes. Unless unless you need the money, don't take an investment. If you're doing well by yourself and they can bring anything to the table, there's no point. Exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, I can afford to hire more people. As I said, I'm hiring more people soon. So, whatever. When an investment is don't, not needed. I mean, if I take an investment, I can invest shit ton of money more money in marketing and shit now i'm investing from the money that comes in it goes back into marketing but yeah and let, let's not talk about it okay I, like investor talk is making me sweat i fucking hate it um oh my god this is a google doc i cannot even read a finished article i don't want to read about google doc like if somebody cares about this i'm gonna put it in the notes the about the web bundles thing like you know, you know what's dangerous about me staying out of Twitter and staying out of touch with this web dev shit? Like, I'm getting more and more comfortable with myself not doing any development. And on one side, that's a bit scary. On the other side, it's a relief. It's like, I don't have to, I don't have to think about Remix or web bundles anymore, you know? 
I can still build my stuff. I can still overlook my stuff. I don't have to go low level and actually build them, build them. So right now I have to go through all of these discussions from smart people who have built things and actually evaluate how will this change things. Like it's getting tired. I, I haven't even hit 30 yet. I don't know people who are in their 30s, 40s. I, I don't know how you keep up with that shit. Like I think I'm going to quit this week in web development. No, I'm actually going to keep it up because even if I'm out of touch with things, it's even going to be funnier when you send me links and I'll be like, I don't know, I'm out of touch. I'm an old grandpa. I don't know what web bundles is. I don't need... I don't have the patience to read through that article and to give a shit about what is web bundles. Maybe you do. If you give me a TLDR, great. Otherwise, it's just going to go in the notes. Thank you to whoever sent the link. Uh, hey, Naren, how's it going? Moving on. An amazing in-depth post. I expected main thread time to be more linear with transfer size. Just the words that are used in the tweet is making me overdose on pudding or something and just die in the middle of the stream. Okay, let's see this shit. What is uh, the cost? Oh, let's not go there. Just, oh my God. N um, Natter told me there's a bunch of drama this week and nobody hooked me up on that. The drama that happened with um, somebody from the Angular team said something about React or no, somebody from a Google developer expert said some shit about React and the, the entire community went to like, what the fuck happened there? Just, is it this thing? Is it this article? Oh, the React community thing. Like, yeah. What happened, Prane? Just hook me up with a link or something. What happened there? I'm so glad I'm staying out of that shit. The cost of JavaScript frameworks. Just give me a fucking break. You cannot build for the web without a framework. Just shut the fuck up. I don't know if this is the thing. I don't care about this thing. An amazing in-depth post. I expected main thread time to be like, ba 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 ba. Is this the thing? I don't know if that's the thing. I'm going to move on. Whoever sent this link, Eric, thank you. I'm moving on. Fun generator for CSS only section separators. Didn't we cover this? No, we did not because it's from today. But I think I linked this. Yeah, I linked this the previous time. Yeah. We already saw this the previous time. So we can we can move on to other links. If someone can hook me up on the React community drama, tweets, whatever. Oh, there you go. Let's dive in. I don't. Oh, my God. Just seeing the profile picture and I already had it. You know, I'm like, I know this person's opinions. I don't even have to go there. I just ignore them by default. I don't follow these people because I don't give a shit about their opinions. What is wrong with the React community? Oh my God. What was wrong with the React community? Web page performance test for RT.live. What is RT.live? Effective reproduction article. Oh my God. Some oh fucking hell! Somebody made a site about COVID, whatever. So somebody made a site about COVID. Took like they took a chunk out of their precious time to build something COVID, and there's some fucking whatever who's gonna be like, "What is wrong with the React community?" Just fucking hell, man. Uh, advice to teams building new coronavirus services. Get a four-year-old Android phone and use it as your test demo device. Yeah, because most people nowadays have four-year-old Android phones, right? Design system service is your friend. Full React isn't your friend. It makes your service slow and inaccessible. Remember, this is for everyone. Oh, fucking stab me, man. I'm not going to discuss this. I'm so tired of these people. I really like, and, and the entire community was surprised by this? And the React community fought this? Like, what the fuck? Brian, thanks for reminding me why I muted this account. Yeah, exactly. I, th that person is muted. I don't give a shit about their opinions. This really has nothing to do with... Uh, dude, let, let me tell you something. There's so many thought leaders that if you mute them, maybe including me, I, I don't give a shit if you do that. If you mute them, your life will be better. Like, I stopped listening to certain people's opinion and I couldn't give a shit anymore. Like, they're super popular. I muted the most popular developer account ever. You can imagine who that was. I think... He said the React community back seven years because he fucked us up with the library that he invented. Library or two. I don't know. I don't give a shit about their opinions anymore. I don't even trust them, whatever they're going to do with React. I don't give a shit. So, like, a lot of people are like, oh my god, he has 10,000 followers. I have to listen to everything they say. Fuck that. Fuck that. I don't give a shit. And oh, of course, like, you're going to see all the familiar faces, faces, all the familiar faces fighting this off. It's like, no, React is actually good. Fuck all of this drama. I don't give a shit. They're not important. The drama is not important. They can all go and fuck themselves. I don't care. I'm so glad that I'm not into this drama anymore. Um, let's see what else do we have. 
I see it like I'm done with Twitter. I'm never gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to Twitter. I'm gonna try to stay uh, away from this bullshit. Seriously, I don't care. Um, just provide value. Fuck the rest. That's exactly what I'm seeing. <laughs> My coffee tastes bad. What is wrong with React community? Yeah, exactly. Um, the problem is too easy to make bloated website. Uh, let's let's not go there. Okay, let's just continue and see what else is new in the world of web. That quickly open any GitHub repo and code sandbox. Go to a repo, replace it with GitHubbox.com. There's no step three. Fancy. I like that. Okay, we're gonna put that in the notes. Thank you, whoever put it up. Um, that was a great joke for people who missed this. This is a fucking hilarious joke. If you watch my previous streams, you'll understand. Like, okay, I'm not gonna explain it. Oh, there's a tweet. Thank you, Glenn, for actually putting... I'm going to put a heart to your tweet because you actually put it on Twitter. Imagine your design tool warning you about low cost... Okay, let's see what is going on here. Uh, local color contrast, illegible, illegible font sizes, lack of state style, hazardous animations based on your rules, main font size, main con... Uh, the modules linter will be a game changer. Oh, linter for my designs. Yeah, that's fun. fun. Uh, actually, actually... Um... I'm super excited about modules. I'm super excited about this. I can't wait to use it. So I'm just going to put this in the notes. I'm going to promote modules as much as I can. Because I think it's going to be a game changer. So yeah, what else we have? I think we're out of tweets. Come on, people. Like something else must have happened. You can never stay out of Twitter because you're too deep in it. Oh, really? Because I'm almost 10 days away. And I'm planning to push it maybe to a month. And I'm going to get updated once per week. You're going to tell me what happened on Twitter. And I'm not going to be there. Maybe I'm going to start tweeting, like promoting, I don't know, a new video, a new vlog or whatever. I'm going to start try to stay away from the timeline. Like, you don't, I cannot even explain you how peaceful is my life in the last 10 days. Like, I can sit down and play a video game without having that nervous anxiety, like constantly just grabbing the phone and just while the game is loading, you're going to your phone. And it's like, oh, this person said that, that person said that, I have to tweet this. Like, when you take that away... And as time is go going by, it's like my brain is like, oh, bro, I needed that chillness. You know, you're a person, you exist in the world without other people's opinions, constantly being like, you don't, you don't even get it. Once you do it for 10 days, you get it how harmful all of these opinions from people in your brain are. Like constantly open it. It's like this thought leader said this, that thought leader, like fuck all of them. Okay. Including me. If you consider a person over 10K followers, a thought leader, fuck every thought leader. Just, anyway, just try to have a small break out of Twitter. You will live a peace, peaceful life and just thank me later. I think we're out of links. We're out of links. Should we end this now? Should I go and grab my Saturday pizza? Nah, we're going to do it for one more hour. We're going to do this for one more hour. Um, announcing SLS dev tools. If you're promoting a CLI tool, I'm going to ban you from the chat forever. W what the fuck is this? SLS dev tools, the tool come a really long way. Statistic for all your lambdas. Why is it not made with UI? Why is it not made in Electron or something? Why do, do I have to look like this? Like I'm about to hack the ma matrix or something. Why? I cannot use my mouse to click on shit. Oh my God. Naren says, I just joined Twitter this February. I still don't know most of the features of Twitter. Just stay away from it as much as you can. Stay away from it as much as you can. Try to get the value out of Twitter without spending your entire day, day on Twitter. Like a lot of people, a lot of web devs have it the other way around, including me. Like you spend, what was that called? The Pareto principle, 80%, 20, like 20, like I cannot like ha say the exact thing right now. If you look at it, Pareto, okay, let's, let's look at some smart shit up, huh? Pareto principle, 80-20 rule. Uh, roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. Like, Nair and I also don't have Facebook, but I can say, like, you can get the value of Twitter without actually being on Twitter for the entire day. And most developers, they're just fucked up, spending most day, uh, most of their day on Twitter just to get informed. I don't blame them. Like, I, I'm, I'm part of that gang. I just want to go away from it. At least for around, like, more than five, six, seven months, I don't have it on my phone. At least I don't have it on my phone, and I was addicted to it on the computer and the tablet, which is not better. But it's like curing part of the problem. Anyway, let's not make this about my Twitter addiction or your Twitter addiction, whatever. Let's just like fuck this CLI tool. Okay, I couldn't care less about CLI tool. Thank you for plugging the link. Um, what else have you sent here? I think we're done. Karen. Karen finally started. Karen usually has super useful link. So I'm going to actually plug in your account, dude. Because you're a super useful guy. I'm going to follow you from this account. And I'm going to put Karen here in the chat. If you want to follow Karen, he always has 
cool shit about VR, AR. I like the way you think. I respect you. So thank you for... Um, what else do we have in the chat? I read Kitsit's article about social dependency. Remove Facebook. Oh, yeah. If you want to read that article, I called it Medium Kitsit's Social Media or something. Killing my social media addiction. Um, so I should have titled it Killing a Part of My Social Media Addiction. I'm still working on this thing. So I'm going to paste it in the chat. Not going to put it in the notes because it's not about web dev. Wondering if a product will fit in your space. Go to size.link. Enter dimensions. View an algorithm. Oh, this is fucking sweet. This is fucking sweet. Thank you for that link. Oh my god, I'm getting I'm getting hungry. I'm just gonna text my girlfriend to order that pizza as soon as possible. Maybe we're gonna wrap up soon today because I haven't had food and it's 5 p.m. and I haven't had any food today. So you can order the okay fucking hell. I cannot even type order pizza earlier. Still doing this. Pizza on Saturday became our thing, and I'm not like even Pizza Hut is giving me a notification every Saturday. They're like, hey, asshole, are you going to shove some pizza in your mouth? Because boy, do we have the notification for you. Um, Okay, Karen, Karen is on fire now. What the fuck? We're almost going crazy with React and Framer motion, but this interaction is turning out pretty nice. Oh, Fabrizio. Like, also, few people you should follow. Linus90. Fabrizio Rinaldi, he's the maker of Boxy, Mailbro, a bunch of this shit. And what was the designer? Frances Francesco Di Lorenzo, Frank Dillo. Super cool dudes. They're working on insane products and, and their designs like make you want to cry. Look at this shit. Look at that. Finally, with Framer Motion, the web is going to look fine. Pranit, if you're watching this, we need to make Sizi this pretty, okay? Our dialogues need to look like this. Um, dude, we really need a good laugh from the meme section. Oh, no, I'm not ending this. So I'm not ending this. A lot of people are, are posting links now. I'm not ending it, but we're going to end it sooner than, than 6 p.m. Um, frameworks just keep coming. We saw Crank Jazz on the last episode. Um, this thing is cool. So I'm going to put this in the notes. Framer, basically this is promoting Framer Motion. It's a cool tweet. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else do we have there? Uh, the, the bad thing about this, there's no way to keep track of this. What's, what what links were posted? What links were, were read and so on? It's a bit annoying. Pattern CSS. What is this? Um, maybe I, I, I should do it. Like I should tweet this out like two hours before the, the stream. And then I'm just going to read whatever was there when we start the stream. This is only library to fill your empty background with beautiful patterns. Dope. I'm going to put that in the notes. Um, let's go to Reddit for a second, huh? CZ needs a framer motion refactor. I, I agree. Um, let's let's see what happened. Like, I think this is the most popular subreddit. And like, whatever we have to read, it's going to be here. <sighs> okay, this is like a um, never run of inspiration again with these 19 websites. I've recently finished my first React project. Bah, bah, bah. Be a responsible web developer. Validate your email logins. Give me a fucking break. A pixel art editor. Okay. I just got hired. Congratulations. That's news in web dev. I'm going to say it. After using them for a year, I fucking hate hooks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to say it. Like, they're... Wait. Is this one of those trick posts? They're full of gotchas. They seem simple on the surface. But if you ever had to debug stale closures or infinite renders, you know they're confusing as hell. I'm going to tell you, in my beginner's workshop, and e even in my advanced workshop, like, thank you for following. Once we get to the advanced patterns part of the workshop, we're like, when I start the workshop, it's a React advanced one, right? And people who know React come to the workshop, they're like, yo, bro, let's just you learn advanced patterns, whatever. And then I'm like, do you know hooks? Yep. Are you using hooks? Yep. Are you using them in production? Yep. Are you comfortable with making custom hooks? Then they're like, you know, a little bit less like... And yeah, we kind of know them and whatever. And then once we start building the advanced patterns, which is like returning a custom hook from a hook and then building higher the component that using a hook, you immediately lose most of the room. Like no matter how advanced someone claims to be, if they're coming to an advanced workshop, they have no fucking idea what's going on in the last one and a half hour of the workshop. There's only two people that can follow the last part of the workshop. The rest of them are like, fuck, maybe I'm going to pick up view. Like, fuck this. This is way too weird. So hooks... I don't know, not the not the best thing. You have a bookmark named Marky, and that just made my day. Yeah, that's Mark Mark Del Glaish. Um I'm constantly butchering. What's wrong with the React community.com? Did someone make this calculating? Holy shit, did someone make this? Nothing. Oh my god. People are paying way too much attention to drama. 
if people paid that much attention to drama as they would pay attention to shipping, we would live in a better world, seriously. I've been a developer for many years, blah, blah, blah. If you haven't DDoSed your own server using a fetch hook or even trying. <laughs> Personally, really enjoy them because of how it allows me to extract blah, 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 whatever. In the beginning, I didn't like hooks and now I prefer them to classes. I don't think they're an ideal solution. I don't think they're an ideal solution. Um, I think whatever view and spelt are gonna came up with is gonna be way better than the the React theme is gonna do with hooks. Um, it has sounds. Okay, I couldn't hear the sound. Whatever. Why have modal pop-ups have been eradicated? It feels like I'm taking crazy pills. Every website pops up something. Okay, let's focus on the news. I want to find out news. CSS findings from the new Facebook design. We read that already. A local city level COVID data aggregate analysis tool with the Helix Yasco Hackathon. Oh, that looks pretty. Huh. Let's look at that. Like everything COVID, I'm going to promote it. Whatever. Uh, corona dash that now that sh. Let's see. Are you going to get my location? Settings updated. Okay, cool. Where do you live? I live in Gdansk. Do you have that city? No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. I live in G gig whatever. Search. Your risk. And a, it would be funny if it says your risk is undefined out of 100 and then someone is like, yo, I checked this website. It says the risk is undefined, so you don't need to worry. You don't need to take the mask off. We don't need the masks anymore. It said undefined. It said null on this website. What is null? Null means there's no risk in our city. Okay, cool. Alrighty, let's move on. Chrome 88 breaks the ability to bolt system funds on Mac. Oh, fuck me. So, oh, actually, I think I know this, this. Wait, this was bold. This side was bold. Am I on Chrome 81? 81, yeah. I noticed that there's something weird going on with the fonts. I think so. No. Okay, it's bold now. Whatever. When I zoom in, it's not bold. Okay, a, you, you didn't figure any shit out, buddy. Um, it's happening also to me. It's it's not. Even though the headline only mentions Chrome. Whatever. Nobody's going to be like, hmm... This bold side doesn't look as bold. I just did that. Whatever. Dynamically creating animations using green sock. Is green sock still a thing? Are people still doing things with green sock? Um, have you read It's Time to Build by Mark Anderson? Nope. What is that? It's time to build Mark. Oh, dude. I'm getting into that spot. Like, you're fine without food. And then at some point, your body is like, oh, I remember. Food was nice. And it crashes. Bam. Fuck, I feel like that. I feel a little bit drowsy slash drunk now from like, I need food soon. Pizza, mouth, soon. It's time to build. What is this shit? Uh, every Western institution, blah, blah, blah. Is this new article or, or what is this? Okay, I'm going to read it. Sure, I'm going to put it in my pocket and I'm going to read it. Um. No, oh, actually a trick that I've been doing, but now my printer ran out of color. Seven days old. Okay, cool. I'm going to put it in the notes. I'm going to tell you the best trick of your life for the two people in this chat that have printers. Actually, for the one person. If you have a printer, put an emoji in the chat. You don't fucking have a printer, right? Because it's 2020, you don't have a printer. If you have a printer right now, working printer, not an old one, just put an emoji in the chat. I, like, there's... Pr Praneet, do you have a printer? Okay, two people have a printer so far. I don't know how many people are in the chat. Three people have a printer? What's wrong with you? I also have a printer. But, oh, holy shit, a lot of people. Okay, so I'm not the only lunatic who has a printer in 2020. For the people who don't have a printer, you're they're asking why would you need a um, printer in 2020? I have no idea. I just wanted to have one. I, f I found this one that looks cute. What is it called? HP Tango X. Come on, dude. Like, this looks cute as fuck. You put this on a shelf, you're the boss of printers. Look at it. When you collapse it, it looks like a book thingy. It doesn't even look like... Oh, you cannot see my screen. Wait, there you go. Um... Like, this thing looks amazing on your shelf, okay? It doesn't look like those bulky <laughs> things. It still it still sucks. It's a printer, but it works. So, I'm going to tell you the best printer hack ever. Go and delete your pocket um, account. You're not going to read the... Like, in my old pocket account, I had an account... I had an article about customizing Windows 7 settings. So, I had my pocket since, I don't know, 2002... Ever, when was pocket created? Okay. When, when was Pocket created? Now it's going to tell me about the creator of Pockets. No, not 
in the 16th century, someone invented getpocket.com. Anyway, whenever getpocket was founded, I had an account since then and I was shoving articles in it that I was never going to read. One day, I deleted my account. That was step number one. Just delete, reset the password, forget about all of those articles. You're not going to read them. Any new, I made a new pocket account. I put articles in that pocket account, not a lot, like three, four articles per week. At the end of each week, now I don't have color in my printer. I'm still waiting for my Amazon order, whatever. When I had color, every Saturday, I would print the articles from my pocket and I would delete them in my pocket. I would staple them nicely and I would put them in the toilet, in the bedroom, whatever. So anytime you had the need, come on, like you're using your phone on the toilet, you dirty fucking, you're like scrolling Twitter or whatever. You're going to pick up an article, you're going to read it. And it worked like I have a pile of like this big of articles that I've read and it fucking works because you printed them, you're going to be bored on the toilet or in, when you wake up or before you before you go to bed, you're going to read the freaking articles. So this is the best life hack ever. But I stopped doing it now because I don't have printer color. So back to the phone it is. Whatever. The, come on, kids. This is a show about web dev. You're giving them printer tips. Oh, what did you say in... Um, that's a lot of paper. Oh, come on. You're hurting the trees. And do you know what are you doing to Mother Earth? Like, fuck that. Okay? Everyone's using paper. And I don't know. I think I, at least I'm doing it for a noble cause. I'm learning things about web dev. Then I'm helping people do stuff with web dev. I don't know. Because here's the problem. If you use a if you use a tablet, you're never going to read those articles. You have the tablet, you're like, oh, Twitter, shiny things, YouTube, dogs, cats. You're never going to read them. So another cool thing might be mailing these articles to your Kindle. But here's the problem. When you mail email, when you email too much articles, too many articles, you're going to be like, which one do I read? There's too many. I cannot make the choice. And you're not going to read them. If you have just one, it's one article sitting next to the toilet. It's either that article or reading the shampoo. You know how many shampoos you've read in your life before there were smartphones? Like probably 20,000 shampoos. You know everything about shampoo. They have one article and it's about investments or whatever. You never wanted to read it, but you put it in your pocket. You're like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to read this. What are you going to do? Anyway, there's your toilet printing tips coming from yours truly. Um, all right. I think we're done with this subreddit. Let's move to another one. Let's move to the React one because I'm going to be selfish. I care about React, right? I want to know what happened this week in React. Let's see what happened this week in React. Here's a rebuttal. It's from a political perspective. Vox.com. Uh, why we can't build. America is an ability to act. Is killing. Okay, let, let, let's go into this. Okay. In a viral essay, venture capitalist Mark Anderson makes a simple exor... Ex, what, what is even this word? I don't know what is an exhortation. Define me this, Google. English is not my first language. An address or communication emphatically urging someone to do something. Okay. Just from the title, I already agree with Mark. We should build more. People are bullshitting them. Well, do you know what's happening out there? Yeah, it's out there. You're stuck at home. So stop having excuses. Um, our widespread inability to build. America has been unable to create enough coronavirus. Blah, blah, blah. It's not just... Okay, just get to the fucking point. Vox article. The federal... Look, this, this is way too complex for me to cover. Okay, if it goes into politics and whatever, I'm not going to be smart enough to, to draw a conclusion here. Um, so I would have to properly read this on my toilet seven times before I actually draw a conclusion about this. Um, but I don't like... Wait, was, was that... Fuck it. Let's not go into this, okay? Because I haven't even read that Mark Anderson article. If I read it, we can discuss it next week. For now, I cannot draw a conclusion. Not that smart. Dogs, cats, shiny things, humans zoned out. And you're getting this article titles to an, ex an extension. Huh? Okay. Forms in React Native the right way. <laughs> as if there is the right way like everyone is doing their own way i rebuild my personal portfolio using gatsby.js and i'm loving it good can we have the tiniest round of applause react performance optimization with react memo oh this should be called babysitting react with react memo people who are not using mobex have to do this shit basically okay cool oh i want to read that why it cannot use memo by default you could think that React Memo doesn't have any downsides and you should wrap all your function components. Problem is that React Memo explicitly caches a function, which means that it stores the result VDOM in memory. If you do this with too many or too big components, this leads to more memory consumption. That's why you should be careful when memoizing large components. With MobX, we're memoizing every single fucking component and we never had a performance problem, kind of, ish. But some people get bullied when they build stuff since everything is not going to be great. Hmm. Uh, Samuel is sending Vite. TLDR, we make our systems to be stagnant, not dynamic. That's true. 
Experimental no bundle dev server for views SFCs. Oh, fuck me. Was this built this week? If it's built this week, thanks to whoever sent it. I'm going to include it in the no notes. Um, Whatever. Let's let's seek for news. News. How to IDify your GitHub. What? What are you talking about? Oh, to make GitHub like an IDE. Okay, I get it. I don't, I don't need to do that, but okay. The quest for the perfect dark mode. Mm, it's from Josh. Ah, not that newsworthy. I made the same web app in Gatsby and Next.js and found Gatsby performed better. Oh, the drama. Oh, the drama. I've tried both. Next.js was far more enjoyable to develop with and is blazing fed with SSG. I, can't, I cannot agree more. <laughs> like, I have a video about Gatsby. Gatsby, Kite, YouTube. If you haven't seen this, I'm not going to plug it in the notes. I'm just going to paste it here. If you don't want to watch my ramblings, just go watch this video. It's a video of me rambling. I, I wasn't a big fan of the entire GraphQL API. I don't know. What did you prefer about Next? I have an opinion to build my Next side. We will. Like, I don't know. You can ask Pranit here if you're still here. How do you like Next so far? He's rebuilding cz.co with, with Next.js. So I think so far, so good. Um, and did you read Zyde rename to Versal? Yeah, we already discussed that here. Um, anyway, uh, I just implemented large-scale Next.js. It was the fastest production side I've ever seen. In fact, the feedback I've gotten is the UX is too fast. Oh my god, just did that... The, First of all, that didn't happen. Nobody emailed you and was like, yo, developer, this UI was too fast for me. Too fast, too furious. You know, that's the title of the new Too Fast, Too Furious movie. Mo movie. <laughs> movie. <laughs> too UI, too furious. Too fast, too UI. Whatever. That, that never happened, okay? Interesting. I had the exact opposite experience. Started migrating all my sites to Gatsby and found the developer experience to be really painful. That was my last experience with Gatsby. Not gonna lie. If there's someone from the Gatsby team watching or whatever... Sorry if it sounds harsh. Like, the developer experience is not that easy for me. Um, Pranit says, uh, I feel much comfortable than Gatsby. Gatsby, it feels like when whenever... I was listening to a bunch of podcasts about Gatsby themes. Are they called Gatsby themes? Yeah. And then I read a little bit of documentation and I still don't know if they're themes or they're plugins or a mix between a theme and a plugin. And I'm like, nope, just stay away from me. Like, I, I, I don't want to know what's going on there. So, I don't know. What's that? Okay. E enough. Gatsby won against Next.js in this head-to-hand. -head. Oh, my God. It's like those MTV shows for picking your boyfriend or whatever. It's talking about frameworks for Jesus Christ. Um, six awesome Chrome extensions for GitHub. Okay, react the basics in 20 minutes. It's nothing newsworthy. So, here's the thing. If you read, just read it, nothing happened with React. But the things that you sent me from Twitter, a bunch of things happened with React. So the thing is, you cannot use Reddit in order to get informed about what happened in web dev, and it's freaking frustrating, okay? Look at Remix. Like, it has 68 upvotes. Because, I don't know, let's see the comments about Re Remix and Blitz here. But it seems like on, on Reddit, stuff is not a big deal. Like, ah, oh, well, whatever, 60 upvotes, who cares, whatever's new. And on, on Twitter, people are like, holy shit, losing my mind. We're going to refactor everything to Remix. It's just weird. Uh, so before it was like, hey, look, there's a brand new library. Today's like, hey, look, there's an announcement of a brand new library. It's not new. Even no code is available. Yeah. Waiting for that announcement of that announcement moment. Classic thought leader move. I like how Reddit doesn't have a lot of patience for thought leaders. Reddit doesn't give a shit. Reddit is going to give it to you in your face. For, for a while, before I made my profile picture and cover picture black, I had a comment about me on Reddit that said something, oh, this person is a douchebag because he has a memoji as his avatar. <laughs> like, fucking Reddit, man. Uh, Julian says, I don't I don't really get how themes work on Gatsby. Yeah, same. Did you talk about Gatsby incremental builds? No, I did not, but I put the, the links in the notes. Um, sure hope it's gone with the complete API rewrites every six to eight months. Oh my god, they're just roasting them about what they did with React uh, Router. They should seriously should use a pseudonym. Now I know to avoid this like Rona unless... Oh my god, Rona? Are they calling Corona a Rona already? Jesus Christ. Some young kid going, yo bro, my cousin had the Rona. Do, do young people do... do No, they do that. Yo bro, the, my cousin had the Rona. Survived the Rona. Don't call it Rona, you fucking douchebag. It was interesting this, and then I saw it will cost money. Wait, people were not kidding. 
Remix.run will cost money. Are you shitting me? How will a framework cost money? Oh my god. What? It's going to build on TypeScript. I know they hate it, so probably so hope. Job posting, already listing. Oh my god. Gatsby now released recipes. What? So Gatsby has... Oh, this is a delicious... Oh my god. Just like I'm hungry, Marek, I didn't need this shit. Seriously, I'm so hungry. Pizza is on the way. Now I'm gonna look at this shit. Put 24. Because I'm freaking hungry. I don't want to look at code. Look at it. It's fucking beautiful. Actually, it's not that beautiful. That looks nasty. I don't like it. Recipes. What is... No. Like, oh my god. Cra craving a happy medium between full-length tutorials and crawling the docs. Here's a cookbook. Oh, okay. It's not a part of the API. I thought they're going to have plugins and recipes. That would have been weird. But okay, cool. Cool. Is this new? If it's new... Okay, even if it's not new, I'm going to plug it in the notes for people who want to see the Gatsby recipes, whatever. Now, what are the comments about Blitz? Can't wait to give this a try. Smart to use Next instead of trying to compete with it. Yep, I agree. Fly buyer, if you're still here, you did the right choice. Um, how and why should I use it? It's unclear what it can do. This news made my weekend. Looks amazing. Looks great. Could be a thin layer inside of Rails, but look like you drop Rails altogether. Congrats. Oh no, Rails was never a technical component. Okay, good comments. What did Michael says? What is different from Next.js? Uh, that it's paid? I would say that's the biggest difference. Like, if, if this is seriously paid, I wonder why Next.js doesn't use React Router. I don't blame them for not using React Router in earlier versions of Next. Oh, fuck, dude. All of this is making me tired. Oh, my oh God. This is making me tired. Seriously. I'm going to drop out of writing web dev soon. You're going to see this. You're going to see that soon. Seriously. Just going to hire more and more people. I'm gonna get out of this shit. Dude, I fucking had it. I'm not even 10 years in it. I don't know how people who are older and have more experience with web dev and they started with Flash and Visual Basic or whatever Microsoft's tool. What was that tool for Microsoft? The drag and drop tool for building websites. Fucking hell, Microsoft tool building websites. Wow, oh my God, my I'm totally front page was it called front page yeah like if you have built a website with front page for, for youngers who don't know this shit i've built a, a website with front page back in the day it looks like microsoft word but you're making html files it looks something like this like i don't know how people who are in the game that long and even longer than this before this existed Fla like flash and all that shit and now you're discussing about router for and all like how do you have the patience man uh, I have an answer. It's a money. I think money is the last thing that's keeping me in this game. I love building shit, not necessarily building for for the web. I'm fucking tired of the web. Seriously, like why I love why I loved building on CZ, building CZ is because we don't have a backend and we don't have a and we don't have a backend. We don't have a router. We don't have to post anything to the backend. We write everything locally, and that's actually a pleasant experience, kinda. And then you have Electron. And Electron completely ruins that pleasant experience because it's a shit framework, okay? It's still bad. It's the most used JavaScript framework for desktop things. It's still bad. So it's like, no matter what you choose in web dev, no matter which way you you try to be like, I'm going to enjoy web dev, something's going to slap you and be like, nope, state management. Nope, databases. Nope, whatever. It's just fucking annoying. We need web flow for web apps. I don't even know, man. <laughs> I don't even know. Um... I had a stream with Nader from AWS. He was showing me AWS data store. And I thought that they actually solved GraphQL's problems, but they actually built a Firebase thingy that's built on top of GraphQL. So this solves the problems that GraphQL has, but it has the problem that GraphQL solves. It's like, what? Take a look at that. It's it's pretty cool, but it's, it's not uh, like a... What are you discussing in the chat? Notepad++. Yeah. I, if you have built a site with Notepad++ and FileZilla, you're an OG. If you haven't fucked up by dragging the wrong thing in FileZilla and then just busting your entire website, you're, you're new to the game. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, we have this discussion here. What's different? For starters, React Router. A good router is the core of any web framework. And we believe React Router 6 is more capable than anything else out there. I actually like React Router 6. That's a vi valid decision. Ryan, obviously. Oh, shit. Wrong thread. 
the most obvious thing would be that he uses React Router. Was that a valid enough reason to build your own thing? I don't know. Very interested to learn more about this for three reasons. React Router is an amazing library, so expectations are high. How will it be different from Next.js and Gatsby? Thanks. We put a lot of work into it. It will be more like Next than Gatsby, but build on React Router. We will be charging for access to Remix, although certain core components will always be open source. That's crazy. If you ask me, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. Like, it's very tough to sell to web developers. Take it from me, building tools for web developers. Like, I even have a free tool, JS UI. It's fucking free. It can make your life seven times easier. Like, um, seven, 77 times easier. It's a, like, I'm going to put it in. I'm not going to put it in the notes. going to paste it here if you want to check it out. It's hard to convince people to shift their paradigm from thinking about the terminal and five other tools to using this, let alone charging for something that's already free. So good luck to them. If they actually, I don't know, if they actually convince people to pay for that shit, they're amazing salesmen. Like I can say that Ryan, especially, I think Ryan came from sales or he has an economics background or whatever. He's an amazing developer. He's a super smart person, but he's an amazing salesman. Like that man can sell you your own code back to you. Like he's going to make you write code and sell it back to you. You're going to buy it from yourself. So kudos to that. If they make this work as their primary business, that's going to be... Man, I don't know what to say. Seriously. Um, all right. Next JS and... Ver like nobody linked this up. Next and variables. They had an article about this. I think it was this one. No, it's not this one. It's, the, it's on the official next blog. Oh, fuck it. I'm so hungry. Please text me that the pizza is here. Please text me that the pizza is here. Earlier, if... Oh, fuck me, it's still not here. I have to do 30 minutes of this thing just because there's no pizza. Uh, if you read the latest blog post from now, it's actually the... This is... Wait, was it this thing? Oh, no, it's on Versal now. Versal blog. Let's go to the Versal blog. That sounds weird. 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 Versal weird. Okay. Uh, this this thing. This should have been plugged in. Or did we discuss this the previous week? I don't care. I'm gonna... Wait, actually, let me not miss your comments. Thank you for the follow. Uh, extra, extra. Router creator says routers are important. <laughs> Before get good old zip and folder management. Yeah. This is a pretty cool feature of, of uh, Versal. It's not Zeit. x -Zeit. Versal has a new new feature. And I'm pretty excited to use this. So you can have separate env environment variables for production, preview, and development. And you can easily pull them by doing now and pull. That's, that's fucking crazy. Uh, sounds weird. Like Balena up here known to reason.io. Same fade. Yeah. There's nothing new here. I already did one hour and I'm kind of bored. No, I shouldn't be bored. I should look what's on my list. Let's see what happened in the JavaScript world. Yeah, appear in whereby. I cannot get over that. For me, it's going to be appear in forever. No JS release. Code doc. Easily create beautiful and modern docs wiki for your software projects. Cool. Oh, I feel like I'm going to collapse, but I, then I have to remind myself that people can go without food for, I don't know, five days or something. I'm not going to die. I almost have 20 hours without food. I'm going to make it. I'm not going to die. I will stop bitching about it. Code dog. Easily create beautiful and modern dogs. Okay, let's see this shit. How easily? Oh, it's CLI. Fuck that. I create a website to play Uno with your friends in the browser. Build with JavaScript and Socket.io. That's a genius idea. Let's play some Uno. Allow triple double. Create a game. Who wants to join me for a game of Uno? We're going to do it right here, right now. It's It looks ugly as a mother. It looks so ugly. But draw one. Okay, how do you... Like, I'm so tired, I forgot how to play Uno. I'm going to emote. It's a emote. Draw here. What? Copy link. Leave game. Restart game. Turn board. Add bot. Okay, let's start with the bot. Bot one, join the game. How do I... Anyway, if you want to play Uno with people, here, here it is. Uh, okay. Finally, release Terrain Builder. Next release of Create React that will include experimental. Oh, finally. I think in one project, I'm already using this with React App Rewired. You know, I was just thinking the other day, gee, Create React App is great and all, but it only installs... <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> oh my god, this comment is so good. Timo says, you need a big smart company which writes a nice framework to solve their own needs rather than developing a framework mainly for the needs of the community. I don't know, not an expert on that. Um... That's cool. It would be lovely to see React fast refresh, but I think for every project onward, I'm just going to go with Next.js because eventually you're going to need the features from Next.js. Alrighty. New MDGS markup language. Add JavaScript to Markdown. Oh my God. How does it look like? This is my component. Does it, is it using web components? Yeah, it does. Fuck that. Browser screenshots in JavaScript. Isn't that MDX? Kinda, but they're gonna tell you, no, MDX is kinda using React. We wanted to go with the vanilla way because React is evil. Pico, take browser screenshots in JavaScript. Gripless is a free complaint solution for well, what? Pico's goal is to produce high precision screen. Pernit, pay attention to this shit. We might wanna try it. This is differently from simply capturing a web page using Puppeteer or a similar tool in that the screenshot taking happens entirely client side. The viewport screenshots include, oh my god, like the tiredness is hitting me so hard I cannot even concentrate reading. I think we should just go to the to the meme part. Uh, we read JavaScript. I'm super interested what's going on with GraphQL. Next is also getting fast refresh. That's cool. I just want to check what's going on. Like, usually this is a super silent subreddit. There's not a lot, a lot of things going on. GraphQL is a new API gateway. Have you replaced your API gateway with GraphQL server? What do you think? Uh, Graph CMS releases the makeover. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, uh, I'm setting up a stream soon with the people from Graph CMS. So if you're interested, you can watch that. Make sure you follow this channel because I'm gonna stream every day. Starting this week, I'm back in the streaming game. So I'm gonna stream every, every day. Make sure to follow twitch.tv slash Uh, it's so sad that this subreddit is super silent. There's nothing going on here. Uh, memes it is. Yep, there's nothing else that we can see. Let's see the trending repositories. I think that's the last thing. Then maybe product hunt and then we're going to go to the memes. Avatars for Zoom and Skype. Oh, no, 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 honey. Let's just go to JavaScript. Play Habbo Hotel, please. What is Habbo Hotel for the love of God? I'm a, like, I don't know. I don't. Why? Why should I? No, I don't know. What is that shit? Uh, Project Corona Tracker, Grid Studio is a web-based application for data science. Okay, Kisa, get your shit together, slap yourself a little bit, come on. Oh, I gotta bring energy back to this thing, otherwise I'm gonna, just gonna be depressing here. Okay, any news about that goddamn pizza? Okay, cool, the pizza is on the way. <laughs> Grid Studio, how many people are gonna eat pizza just because I mentioned pizza five times? Huh? How many of you fuckers already have pizza on the way? Well, Kisa said it, I don't care. Uh, let's see. Trending. React Query. I'm gr I'm glad that React Query is trending. Please, Hubble. Like, what the fuck is Hubble Hotel? Let me just Google it on the side, because I don't fucking trust you. Hubble Hotel. What is that thing? Virtual World, Avatar Chat, and Pixel Art. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna play that. Finished 10 minutes ago with pizza. <laughs> Every pizza company are closed around me. Really? You don't have... Like, I think everything works around me. So... Um, all right. View the casual trending things. View Node, Axios, Send, Red Axios, Trapi, Reveal JS, blah, 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 blah. Um, all right. There's nothing interesting here. Let's just see Product Hunt. Timo says, yes, pizza today. There's no pizza near me. React Query has sped up a lot of dev in work. Really like it. Yeah, I have to try React Query one day. Have you ever used NWB as an alternative to create React app? Nope. Not really. I, yeah, I always use Create React App. I don't know why. I just stick to it for a reason. It was a joke. Big fan. Respect. Okay, thank you. Like uh, I did. I like. I'm so tired. At 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 this point, people can see whatever in the chat. I'm just gonna trust them. Click on their shit. Whatever. Now's the time to to like trick me, clickbait me, what whatever it's called. Best products last week. Let's see. New ways to enhance your mental health. Resize Gmail sidebar. Like, how funny is this? Two things are ranked. Uh, Kitsa, how would you describe your knowledge level of TypeScript? Uh, I would describe it with two words. Winging it. 
okay? Started using it, never learned it, just winging it, learning on the fly. How funny is these two things have a similar amount of upvotes? This is about enhancing your mental health. This is about resizing the Gmail sidebar. And people are like, yep, more or less. Oh my god, I love humanity. I love human beings. Digital product handbook, smart upscaler, all your work in one place. Really? Will all of my work be in one place, eSell? Really? Will it be? It's a Chrome extension. Now there's gonna be those dance music. Do you have a problem with your work that's not in one place? Well, guess what? eSell had the solution. Wait. Is that Dinesh? No, no. What, what was it called? Like, he looks like the guy from Silicon Valley. Not, not Dinesh. Gilfoyle. Holy shit. He looks like Gilfoyle in the corner. So if Gilfoyle is recommending you a tool, you use the goddamn tool. Like, I cannot look at Gilfoyle. Gilfoyle is in Spider-Man. He's a teacher in Spider-Man. Whatever this actor is called. Um, Martin Starr. Like, I cannot look at this dude and not think Gilfoyle. Come on, Spider-Man. Just look at him. He looked like a decent teacher in here. Like, you cannot look at him and be like, oh, shut up, Gilfoyle. Um, anyway. All, all of your work in one place. Yeah, sure. I've tried so many of these tools. Oh, there's something that I want to talk about. Like, I I, I finished my uh, my gaming PC. It's finally here. The components are here. Finally finished it. Um, and I've been using Windows a little bit. And I was like... You know what? Windows is not that bad. For 10 minutes. Same old shit. Blue screens of that. That device manager thing that looks... the Most of the dialogues in Windows, I remember that from my childhood. Because they look the same. You go to print something. It's that same old dialogue. It's like childhood flashbacks with Windows. But I think I'm running out of time here. too. So we're going to do the... Anyway, we're going to do the... Win I'm going to remind myself to talk about my Windows experience in the next stream. Somebody want, wants to use Windows for development, you're out of your mind. I mean, if you voluntarily, someone gives you a choice, your employer is like, do you want Windows? Do you want Mac? And you're like, I want Windows. I don't know. I, I don't know. So don't give me that. Do you know that Windows has improved recently? Fuck that. It's the worst thing. I don't, I don't care about the Ubuntu, VSL, whatever. Worst thing ever. Worst thing ever. It's great for gaming, Great for whatever other things people prefer it for. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to piss a bunch of people off and they're going to leave because they don't know my opinions about iOS, Windows, Android, and all of that shit. I don't care. Uh, I don't have the choice and it's not a good experience for work. Yep, a, a lot of people say this, but a lot of people are pushing it to the limit. Do you know they actually changed the color of the title bar? So now all of the problems in Windows are fixed. No, it's still shit, okay? No matter what they do, like, if you right-click menu one thing, you're gonna have one style. If you right-click another thing, you're gonna have another style. It's just annoying. Also, on the lock screen, there are ads. There are ads rolling, I swear to God, about Microsoft Edge, Microsoft To-Do, all of this shit are rolling ads when you lock your screen. What? But probably, actually, I got in a fight with someone from Microsoft on Twitter. They were like, uh, actually, you can turn them off. Yeah, most my mom doesn't know how to turn off that shit, so you're gonna put on ads in, in her face. Don't put ads in my mom's face, okay, Microsoft? Um, anyway. Let me see the chat. Can your Mac crash like my Windows do? Doubt that, yeah. Like, Mac has its downsides. Like, you cannot game on it. That's the only downside. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Let's just jump. Okay, I'm, I, 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 I am done. Let's just jump to the Try Not To Laugh Challenge. So first, we, we're gonna visit this subreddit. If you're new to this stream thingy, episode, whatever... We are doing the try not to laugh challenge. So I'm going first on programmer humor. Then I'm going to go to Mark's profile. And I'm going to try not, not to laugh at, at these shitty memes that people post. So I'm going to put on my serious face. There you go. No more laughing. Super serious. Also, I'm tired. Most of these are going to fly over my head. Even if they're made by 14-year-olds. Whatever. Um, I feel like we have a good chance of kids are bursting out in the laughter in the meme section today. I can already feel the laughter coming. You know when you're tired? They're like when you're super tired and everything is funny, you feel like you're high or whatever, everything is funny. And also when you cannot laugh. When you cannot laugh like someone is sleeping, you cannot wake up someone or whatever. The the stupidest shit is funny. So I'm gonna try not to laugh, but this shit is gonna be tougher than other the other times. Alright. Woo! My CPU when the L1 cache misses. This little maneuver is gonna cost us three nanoseconds. How is this? Okay. 
Oh fuck, everything is funny, guys. Fucking hell. But it only counts if I laugh out loud. You know how I laugh out loud. This is just a... Okay. Don't think of pizza. Okay. I'm a full stack engineer, which means if you give me one more task, my stack will overflow. All right. Surviving it so far. Check out the new feature I developed. Okay. Made it. Didn't burst out. Fucking hell. Oh, shit. Okay. Not that funny. Not that funny. You just... Oh, shit. I've seen this before. I've seen this fucking meme before. Otherwise, I would have burst in laughter. Oh, okay. Get this shit together, kids. Hey, you're not that tired, buddy. Come on. Okay. Them, can you quickly pull this data for me? Sure. Let me just... Okay. Didn't laugh. Didn't laugh. Topper says, I lost. Yeah, you can try to do this challenge with me. Like, I, okay, I almost, almost got me. If you're developing a web shop that sells monitors and laptops, broken green pixel. That's a genius idea. It's not funny, but it's a genius idea. You can have, oh, th that, that makes a lot of sense. But people are going to switch from your website. Okay, but good point. Make a program to display tomorrow's time. Let's wait for a while. It's compiling. Now fuck off and please never come back to this class. What? Okay. You guys are getting encryption. Okay. Prisma just came out. Already laughed at that. So you talked about paying for apps. Is 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 it one of the reasons why you use WebStorm? Uh WebStorm, by the way, can be free if you're doing open source. You can email them and they're gonna give it to you for free. I'm paying for WebStorm because it's an IDE and there's no other IDE that exists for web. VS Code is not an IDE, it's a text editor that you can throw seven plugins in it and pretend it's an ID. It's not. Anyway, let's go back to the fun stuff. Tired of drop downs, try our new pixel art country selector. Please draw your country's, country's flag to select. <laughs> That's funny, kinda. Not really. Enter first number between 1 and 10. Too high. You fucking know it. Blazes it internally. Okay, read. Read. The, the documentation. Documentation. Copy stack overflow answer. Two. Game show idea. Five project managers in a room. They have to merge one pull request. Five engineers in another room. They have to get over the social anxiety long enough to make one phone call. Let's see who wins first. She was funny once upon a time. What happened? Um, Three billion devices run Java. 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 Java evolution through the years. Okay. Oh God, this is not working. When you hear a senior dev saying, who the fuck wrote this shit? And it's you. Let me merge or I'll swear I'll fucking kill us both. I love how this could be either about driving or using Excel. Devs on GitHub. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Didn't laugh. Me. I can code. Friend. Dude, can you hack someone? Yep. Integer overflow will be like, yep. You feel bad about your comments. Here's some. Oh. Valve. Un Valve. Under the development on Half-Life CSGO. Let's read some developer comments. This is gonna be funny. Windows stupidly treats 8-bit file names as some dopey code page rather than UTF-0. If we want to use UTF, we have to convert them to WinSR explicitly and call versions. So, okay, we do. When I see a boolean like this, I know serious bullshit is afoot. Clear that motherfucker out. Hmm, we didn't line up the correct type. Delete right away since it's fucked up. Go ahead and delete it. It's not short-lived return time. I don't know why. I don't want to know why. I shouldn't have to wonder why. For whatever reason, this stupid panel isn't laying out correctly unless we do this terrible nest list. Yeah, every code base has this. Doesn't matter who you are. Fuck, now I actually lost. Still didn't lose. I think I'm going to lose it with Mark's profile because this is the first week that I haven't seen Mark's profile. So, me creating a merge request, me approving my merge request. Okay, me after reading the documentation for two seconds. I've seen enough. I'm satisfied. Every fucking time. Stay away from server room. Serious injury or death may occur. Dear recruiters, if you're looking for Java, Python, whatever, that's okay. Holy Trinity, whatever. Writes codes for 30 minutes without compiling. Hits compile. Starting gets fucked in the eyes by semicolon. Okay. Oh no, they got us red-handed. Programmer, a person who is paid to professionally scream at a computer. Dude, I'm so tired. Nothing is funny. Nothing is funny. It was funny at first. Now I'm just scrolling, passing by. When you accidentally write and then instead of war. Oh, this could actually be Tesla. This could actually be Tesla. I'm looking at every single car in the world. All of them look boring compared to Tesla. 
So I know my first car ever is going to be Tesla soon once this pandemic shit is already over. However, I, I see those posts that Tesla cannot deliver one single car without faulty doors, without having the panels aligned like this, without chipped off paint. This image just reminded me how pissed off I am that people pay shit ton of money for a car that's not painted properly. And Elon Musk is like, Haha, 420 bro, blaze it bro, whatever. It's just fucking annoying. Anyway, let's just go to Mark's profile and wrap this up. This is the final portion of the rap challenge. If you don't know Mark, his job is basically posting memes. His employer is paying him for posting memes. So I'm going to read Mark's shit and I'll be out of here. Alrighty. What's going on with Elon Musk? Like, I feel like, wait, before we go there, I feel like that his profile should be visited as part of my, you know, thing. Uh, what has Elon tweeted? Do you have any funny shit, buddy? Are you going to fix the paint on your cars or is it just memes and SpaceX? There are 420 operational Starlink satellites. <laughs> Peace, bro. Blaze it, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Tesla Model S get free acceleration endurance boost. How about paint? How about nice paint and the door is not aligned like this? That that would be nice. Uh, Starship. I love how this person can be one of the smartest people in, in the world and also the dumbest with his memes and shit. He'd say, will you stream some coding in next week? I'm going to stream some coding on Monday. I'm going to stream some gaming tomorrow and some coding on Monday. So make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. So often true. Yeah, okay. Let's finish with Mark's profile and we're out. Come on, Marky. Give me your best. Alrighty. Hey, prettier code. Orders, operation, brackets, or okay. Yeah, that, that's true. Prettier is annoying. Web platform advocates, React devs, God wants me to forgive them. Okay. My four-year-old brain overcooked. I should probably be concerned about this. He burned the kitchen down and then just watched it. Huh. Yeah. We'll tell you when you're older. Is there something? Naming a JavaScript library and you forgot the .js. Okay. Treat now. Official Next.js plugin. There are 60 million calls for design system engineers. There are 36 actually. Stack space, large dividers. Okay. When you're at a conference by yourself. Yep. No, Mark, like, don't take it personally. I'm just not in the mood for laughing. I'm super tired. I'm super fucking tired. It's are you playing Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is just the most annoying edgy game that people play it just so they are they can be edgy hey i'm playing different stuff than you guys okay it's just like that goose game untitled goose game people played this only for one reason maybe it's fun i'm gonna play it eventually if i play it i'm not gonna post a screenshot of it i'm not gonna be like hey man look at me you know i don't know what i'm doing this people are not doing this in this life in, in real life but that's how i imagine them like hey man i'm playing these edgy games i'm not like you people i don't play csgo overwatch whatever but this ghost shit oh my god it's like so edgy and makes like i, I see any animal crossing the, the the same like people are trying way too hard um what else did i want to mention uh you don't have the majority of people nice being perfect those cars or Majority of people have nice pain and perfect doors cost. Who would write about that? Anyway, anyway, let's let's not talk about Tesla and shit. One last thing I'm gonna recommend it to you because I'm it was so hard not to tweet about it. I'm gonna say it here. If you have watched Breaking Bad, go watch Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul. We just wrapped up season five yesterday, it just ended. And season six is gonna be in 2021. It ended so good. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Like these show, the show creators are the same ones from Breaking Bad. They're insane. If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, like don't watch a stream of me for two hours. Go binge a couple of episodes of Breaking Bad. Best show ever. I'm going to plug that in. I don't know what else to plug in. Make sure to, to, to follow this. This week in web dev because I'm going to post the notes here. Make sure to, to follow this thing because I'm going to post the notes here. And make sure you check out CZ. CZ.co, the browser for developers. I cannot even uh, bother. Pizza is probably here. Uh, pizza is probably here. Uh, nope, not here. <laughs> yeah, make sure to, to check out CZ. We released two beta versions. Stable version is coming this week of the new update. It's going to be insane. We were working on it for one month. Um, 
follow me on Twitter. I don't know when I'll be back to tweeting on Twitter, but make sure to follow me, twitter.com slash dkitsy. I'm going to put it here if you're lazy. Cz.co, check it out here. And I think with that, we're going to wrap up the stream. I'm going to make sure to stream some gaming, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm kind of tired today. So thank you very much to whoever was watching. I'm going to see you next Saturday, same time. And I will see you around. All right. Have a good... No, I'm not back on Twitter, so now <laughs> have a good weekend and I will see you.